for us on some of your injured guys. Yeah. Yeah, they all practice today. Um, Justin's fine. He's 100%. Um, Darian's 100%. Andreas and Naheem are, are feeling good. We just haven't tackled, you know, so as long as the game doesn't change how they're feeling, they're both going to play. And I know they both want to play. So you just don't know, you know, once you get into game contact, if it changes anything with guys. But they're both uh, flying around the field today and look good. It has to be a relief for you, particularly the way the Notre Dame game ended. They yeah. They seem to be up in the air. And... Yeah, and, and, you know, we're not 100, but, you know, they're not either. They got guys banged up. And so it's just a matter of how the game goes, you know. I mean, all of a sudden, a guy that had an ankle gets in a pile and twisted, and now he's got it again, you know, if, if you can get through it. And sometimes once you start playing, that adrenaline kicks in and you get loose, and that's the best thing that can happen for you. So it's just a matter of how they feel during the game. And we'll be ready if they can't go. I mean, we've had to practice without them a couple times this week. Between offense and defensive touchdowns, they've had nine 40-plus yard touchdowns this year. How key is it to not – you know, that big pop, that, that one big huge play that changes the game? Well, they're an explosive team. I mean, they've got tremendous athletes on um, both sides of the football and special teams. And, you know, one of our goals against Clemson every year is not allow explosive plays for touchdowns, you know. I mean, it's one thing if they get one, but you want to get them down and be able to play the next play. And, and to flip that, we need to have some on our offense and special teams to help us with the momentum. A lot of, a lot of focus has been on defensive lines, but Daniel's a very good blitzing linebacker. He is. Yeah, I mean, they've got two linebackers with five-plus sacks, you know, and they bring them a lot of different ways, and they get in and out of their bare fronts with linebackers, so they're on the edge. You know, they're not always coming from backer depth, and we've got to identify guys well, and, you know, Ryan has to do a good job using the timing of our protections and getting rid of the football. You have a sticker on the back of your helmet that says one pack, one goal. You had the rock thing out there. Is it still out there? <laughs> yeah. The rock thing? Is it kind of yeah. surreal now you're here at this point where mm -hmm. this is the biggest game you're, you're going to play towards that goal? Yeah, I mean, everything we've talked about, you know, every conversation that a player has is, Coach, I want to win a championship, and that's what we've talked about. You know, you've put yourself in that place where if you win, you control the Atlantic at least. You, know, you still got to go to the other side and win in that game, but you want to win your side of the division, and a win in this game would put us not in that spot. We'd have to finish, you know, but – We'd control it at least. We wouldn't have to wait for someone else to lose. And that's what you want to do. It's why you work. And to be there in November against top four, uh, number four ranked team like Clemson, uh, it's a great place to be. But we want to finish it.